This is the brains of your whole electrical system. If there's something wrong with your electrical, if there's an outlet that doesn't work, if there's a light switch that doesn't work, or any type of, you know, your stove doesn't work or anything, the problem's probably gonna be down here where one of these uh, breakers has either tripped, uh, and therefore you're not getting any supply of electricity to a certain part of the home. And, uh, the breakers here are quite simple, uh, how they work. There's really nothing here for you to touch or to examine. Obviously, if you don't have power to a certain area, just for example, that breaker may have tripped. So you're gonna see that this particular breaker here is out of line from the rest of these breakers here. It's just a simple matter of popping up and resetting it. Now, one thing to keep in mind though, is that if you reset one of these breakers and it continues to pop, that means you have an electrical problem. At that point in time, you're gonna be wanting to call in the professionals, get a licensed electrician to come in and examine and see what the problems are. There's nothing in this area here that a homeowner can service by themselves. You have to have the professionals come in and look at this. Inside this panel here itself, there's actually enough electricity that can cause some serious problems to anybody that goes in there. So we do recommend you just stay away from it and let the pros handle it, other than maybe resetting the breaker, and that's about it. One thing on these breakers that you are going to see are little buttons. These are test buttons to show that they're a specialized breaker. These ones particularly are ground fault circuit interrupter, uh, which if there's any type of surge or anything in that circuit, these breakers are going to trip. So if you find like an outside plug or anything like that, or one of the outlets by the kitchen sink or the bathroom, no longer has any power, chances are it's going to be one of these outlets here that the breaker has tripped. So you may want to come and reset it. As I said before, though, if it continues to pop, then you're going to want to do some further investigation. These ones down here with the blue buttons, there are what is called a arc fault protector, an AFCI, arc fault circuit interrupter. These are a special outlet that you're going to find in your bedrooms and other areas throughout your house. They're a specialized breaker that can actually sense if there's any type of uh, sparking or arcing that is going on within the circuit. They are very, very sensitive. What can happen sometimes is that, you know, your kids are playing in the bedroom, they may unplug or plug in you know, uh, one of their games or something like that very, very quickly, you may get a quick arc. So this breaker will actually trip. Sometimes they'll pile up different things in front of the outlet, jiggle that outlet so there might be a small arc. If you do see these things tripping, again, call in the professionals. Let's find out the reason why these arc faults are tripping. They're there to prevent fires. So let's just make sure that when they're doing their job that uh, we want to get the cause of that uh, fixed problem.